spooky, scary skeleton and shivers down my spine. Gonna kill you right here now with this sword of mine. <laughs> and I came up with that on the spot. Before this video starts, I just want to say that only a small percentage of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you like this video and want to see more like it, hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything and you can always change your mind in the future. Now back to the video. What up everyone, it's your boy FlowsMG back in the world of Minecraft. Wow! In the previous episode, we decided to go up a tree, much like that one you see right there. But instead, it's over there, and if you look closely, we made a giant tree house on it. And there's some stuff I want to add to it in the future, but that's going to be a good ways into the future, because... For these next few episodes, we are in the month of October, which means we're going to be ce celebrating the holiday of Halloween! The holiday we can go door to door asking for strangers candy. We can never do normal everyday life. It's the one day of the year where strangers can offer you candy and have it not be creepy. And today we're mainly going to be focusing on decorating my house for Halloween! And I know, if you look up, you can see that I've started to make a second layer. Uh, oh, dang it. I didn't make the chest, even. But as you notice, I've started making the second la layer for storage. Because I'm starting to run out of room down here. And, yeah. I had to move all my iron up here because I'm starting to run out of room down here with this chest. Ow! Move out of the way, Shadow! But yeah, as you can see, I'm definitely running out of room in this chest. And sorry, the lack of symmetry between the upper layer and the lower layer was starting to get to me. Our head is like right up against the glass floor of the glass ceiling of the glass roof garden. Not a glass. I'm gonna need a bit of this iron. Because I'm going to be making some very spooky lanterns! Ow. And if I remember correctly, lanterns need iron nuggets. As well as one torch in the middle. I could just as easily go down to the nether and take them from a bastion, but where's the fun in- But where's the craft in Minecraft if I don't craft? Alright, eight lanterns to work with. And I'm definitely gonna be hanging a couple in here because when nighttime comes, yeah, this provides a little bit of darkness. Uh, I can hang them from the bottom of these things, can I? Hey, it works! That should provide enough light down here anyway. Now, if we go downstairs, another plan I have is to make those rings. I want to make them all carpeted of Halloween colors, like orange, purple, and black. Of course, alternating it to the middle. And... We're also going to put some lanterns, right? Come on, let me... Wait a minute, can I? Can I? Will it? Wait, do I have to hang them from something? Oh, that's bull. Okay, give me one second. All right, I went ahead and got some spruce stairs because if I'm right, I should be able to place those and then, aha, be able to hang lanterns down like that. And actually, that looks really good. I actually love how that looks. All right, and so now we got to go get a lot of wool. As you can see, I already made some of the sheep orange and purple. Orange wool, purple wool, black wool. Am I actually going to have enough to do it already? How much carpet? Ooh, yeah, I I'm not going to have nowhere near enough. Because like, I'm definitely going to need like a about a stack of each. So for now let's, so now, let's just start by making a stack of each one. And see what I can do. And make this spooky, scary room. And, oh. That might be a little difficult for illuminating. Oh, I'm actually going to go make some more lanterns. And I actually might keep those for light sources instead of the torches. Uh, lantern, lantern, lantern. Where? I, I, don't, I don't have enough ingots. Alright, um, seven more lanterns. Alright, now what can I... What can I with these all right there we go so hopefully when I take this one away there should be enough light okay okay we might as well put one in the very middle there we go that should 
hopefully be enough. Plus it gives it plus it gives it more of a spooky aura in here as well. Okay, and the idea is for the carpet to or uh to What the When did you get here? It's not Halloween yet, there's no time for trick-or-treating. But then again, I will see what treats you have for me. And na 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 I know you want to per peruse my doghouse that I still haven't finished. And probably never will, to be honest. But, hey, what can you give me? Alright, uh, that looks like magenta dye, pumpkin seeds, blue coral. Is that coarse dirt, maybe? Packed ice and... I think that's aloe? These are some lame treats. This is like getting raisins on Halloween. You ain't got nothing good. What did you just say to me? Hey, 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 back up, back the fuck up. Back the fuck up. Yeah, so again, as I was saying, the idea is to or is to alternate orange, black, purple. Orange, black, purple. Orange, black. And end right there. So let's start and see if I have enough for even one ring. Okay, I can already hear, hear spooky, scary thingies coming about. Oh, I actually love the way the lanterns makes this place look. It gives, it, it also gives it a good bit of a spooky vibe as well. Really fitting. But for now, I'm gonna go to bed and get rid of the spooky, scary skeletons creeping about my yard. And I could definitely already tell that I'm not gonna have enough wool uh, to make more what I need. So we're gonna go ahead and shear some more sheep. Oh, spooky, scary skeleton, send shivers down my spine. Gonna kill you right here now with this sword of mine. <laughs> and I came up with that on the spot. All right, let's get to shearing. That's just the, that's just gonna give me a little bit more. It's not even gonna give me enough. But. I actually might as well get this middle row of black done. And yeah. Yeah, I, I, I have plenty of black wool to get the remainder of the black rings, but yeah, I do not have enough to get the remainder of the other rings though. I don't think anyway. Alright, let's make a few more black carpets. Complete more orange carpet and complete the purple carpet. And we're just gonna get rid of the the other colors of wool that we don't need. Alright, let's move on to purple carpet. Yeah, see, a whole stack was barely enough for one ring. Let's move on. Yep, gun definitely need more orange. Can I complete this black ring? Oh, no, there's no way. Yeah, I'm definitely missing a good bit of orange, good bit of black, and a good bit of, and a little bit of purple. Can I shear them any- Ooh, my shears are actually almost dead. I'm gonna go see if I can shear any more sheep, and... Yeah, when these shears inevitably break, move to the other ones. They're actually lasting a bit longer than I thought they would. Damn, I, I didn't even need to make new shears. Now, can I shear all of them before they break? Never mind. That was some timing right there. Hey, look, I know you don't like getting your wool cut off, but hey, I need it for my videos. Animal cruelty! Excuse me, I heard zombie. There's a zombie down here who doesn't like animal cruelty. Mr. Zombie, are you in my netherite farm right now? Or correction, nether wart farm. Actually, while I'm down here, I might as well gather this and regrow it. Oh, I should totally make some potions, and I just heard the- I just heard him again. I heard the dude. I heard the dude. I heard the dude who came here for trick-or-treating. Dude. Are you the same dude? Alright. I got a little bit more carpet. It's gonna be nowhere near enough, but we're gonna make it work. Oh, I am one purple off. That is, that is actually infuriating. 
Hey, purple sheep, orange sheep, I need your wool. This whole episode's been getting enough wool for the stupid carpet. That's literally what a majority of this stupid episode has been. All right. Maybe this will be enough? Maybe not. Let's figure that out. Oh my god, it's so close. Literally, just this little row right here. It's so annoying, and now I have too many purple carpet. I'm also apparently a dumbass and completely forgot that I can just dye wool. So, let's go ahead and make that. And turn this wool into carpet. Alright. Let's go! And bop, 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 bop. There we go, the completed carpet for Halloween. I'm actually, I actually think that looks really good. And when Christmas time rolls around, we're gonna need to change it. Which makes me sad, but oh well. We got some nice lanterns for very spooky ambiance. We got the nice color pattern for the Halloween, as well as the lanterns hanging from the ceiling. Those are probably gonna stay forever. But it still feels like we're missing something. I know exactly what we're missing! We're missing the one thing that every humble abode needs in order to make it a true house of Halloween. We are missing... Up, oh, Oops. That was not put in the right place. We are missing the jack-o'-lanterns. Now this is a Halloween-looking house right- Oh! Hello, spooky, scary skeletons who I'll kill with the sword of mine. Die and die and die and die. Die, 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 die. Anyone else? Hello, spooky, scary skeleton. Freaking tall grass keeps saving you, goddamn. Oh, what the? No! Baby zombie! Die! Damn! I love this sword! It does freaking wonders! And- OH SHIT! That actually reminds me! I want to do this before we go into the next episode. Because the next episode is going to be... Problematic. And for what I want to do, I'm gonna need three diamonds. We're gonna turn those diamonds into a diamond axe. And we're, we're just gonna go down to the basement and enchant it. For... For just in case. Plus I have all these levels and I want to use them up. Alright, Lapis Lazuli, Diamond Axe. Alright, so we can get an Unbreaking 1. I mean, that's okay. We can get an Efficiency 2. That's probably good for wood cutting. Well, what's this next one? Sh sharpness 4! Oh, yep. Hell yep. Hell yep. We're getting the Sharpness 4 Axe, and please have something else amazing on it. Ooh, I love the sound. Okay, a Sharpness 4 Axe, does it have anything else? Oh my god! Sharpness 4, Unbreaking 3, Silk Touch 1, and Efficiency 4, 11 attack- Oh my- This is the God Axe. This- I'm naming this Axe Paul Bunyan. You know what? You know what? In fact, I'm going to do that right now. I am naming this axe Paul Bunyan immediately. You know what? Because it's a diamond axe, I'm going to name it Paul Bunyan. If I get a netherite one, I will name that I'll name that one Stormbreaker. But for now, this is gonna be Paul Bunyan. Paul Bunyan, and it's only gonna cost me one enchantment. Don't care, meet my new diamond axe, Paul Bunyan. Hey, Paul, Paul Bunyan, Paul Bunyan. He's 63, axe handles high with his feet on his ground and his head in the sky. Hey, Paul, hey, Paul, Paul Bunyan, Paul Bunyan. I heard a fucking witch. You know, we're actually going to go and test my new amazing axe, Paul Bunyan, on the enemies of the world. Hello! Oh! There's a hole in the window! I, I, I forgot there's a hole in the window. Oh, hello. Oh! Hello, bitch! Yo, I can kill this witch in three? Ooh. Oh, okay. Oh, shit! Uh, 
We just got a trophy named Overkill. I don't know what Overkill does, but I'm glad we got it. And you know what? We I think this is a this is a great place to end it off. So you know what? Ooh. We may want to kill these trick-or-treaters first. Hey, 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 hey! Quit it! Quit it! Freaking assholes. Either way, I've been FlozMG. This has been Minecraft decorating my house for Halloween, and I cannot wait to see you all in the next video. Bye!